Okay, now let's go take a look in the dome. So the middle is still tomatoes. These are the ones I planted last February. They're still fruiting up, still producing, producing a pretty decent amount of fruit. However, this is going to become cacao. I've got I'm, a couple seeds I brought in that I'm sprouting. And this is going to just become more of a sacred herbal space. And the other plants will be grown outside. Here's the pawpaw, the other one. Ginkgo. I'll just show you some of the highlights really quickly. This is goji I planted. She's just bushing out everywhere. You can see all those limbs. A um, couple sacred herbs down in here. A few of the favorites. Here's white sage. Gorgeous. This is also called sacred sage. Good for smudging and just aromatics. Let's see. Down this way. Lots of sages. The mango tree, she took off. I got rid of the plants that were down in the pot, the herbs, and that just, they were sucking a lot of nutrients out of her, so she loved that. I've also been peeing in the base. She loves that. Just lots of mixed herbs going on. And soon to become much more herbs going on. I just, just makes sense. So, probably a lot of Tulsi. You see the mints just took over. The asparagus is loving it. So yeah, just a big mix. Not much changes in here, just kind of keeping it up. But cacao will be the big change coming up in the next little bit. And boy, can I ever recommend peeing in the base of your plants. I'm just going to say that one more time. Human urine. Hmm. Okay, well, y'all have fun growing your own food, and uh, check out uh, rawmodel.com for huge inspirations on creating food forests in your backyard. Anthony over at Raw Models got a couple of them going, one in Minnesota and one in Phoenix, so, and this is also, we're also sharing ideas here in um, Utah. Uh, about how to grow good food so check out all the posts videos and stuff at Anthony's site for more information on creating one of these forests in your backyard